Today, we bring you the best fortune teller joke ever. So, hold on tight, folks. This joke is like a wild roller coaster ride through time and giggles. But before we dive into the belly laughs, let's take a quick detour through the smoky lanes of history. Abacomancy, or as the cool kids call it, amathomancy, is like reading the universe's version of tea leaves, but with dirt, sand, or ashes. Imagine a group of people staring intently at a pile of dirt, like it holds the secrets of the universe, because apparently it might. They drop this stuff on a table and play connect the dots with the patterns, hoping they'll find the cheat codes to life. Some even go full detective, searching for the same symbols over and over like they're in a cosmic game of Where's Waldo? And get this, Jackson Pollock, the guy famous for his wild paint splatters, apparently thought he was Picasso with dirt. He painted like he was predicting the future through abstract mud wrestling matches. Classic teller's move, if you ask me. So, there's this poor fella with a giant dilemma, and he's thinking, who do I turn to for some supernatural wisdom? Yep, you guessed it. Off to the fortune teller he goes. He's airing out all his dirty laundry, telling the fortune teller how he's got this nagging suspicion, all worried about his wife's alleged shenanigans while he's slaving away at work. He's practically begging for answers, wanting the mystic guru to peek into her crystal ball and tell him whether his marriage is about to crash into heartbreak or fly into happy endings. After listening to the man's sad story, the fortune teller shook her crystal ball vigorously. I'm sorry, she said but I need more details to see through this dusty mess. It's like trying to watch Netflix with bad Wi-Fi. You need to bring some soil from your front yard. The closer to the front door the soil, the more accurately the reading will be. Confused but hopeful, the man agreed. Sure, he said, I'll bring the dirt. Who knew my front yard could hold the secrets of a soap opera? Maybe my flowers are plotting against me. With a mix of anticipation and disbelief, he left, wondering if he'd accidentally stumbled into a gardening consultation. As she is very busy, she asks him to be punctual for their next appointment, as it might be a long session. Bursting into the fortune teller's reception like he's auditioning for the next Olympics, the man skids to a halt, clutching a bag of soil like it's the last donut at a buffet. Phew. I almost missed my date with the crystal ball. And this bag of dirt, he said. The receptionist raises an eyebrow, wondering if this is a psychic reading or a gardening consultation. So, the fortune teller sat the man down and took the bag of soil from him. With a flourish, the fortune teller spreads the soil across her table, massaging it like it's the world's weirdest stress ball. The man watches equal parts intrigued and baffled, wondering if this is a gardening tutorial gone awry. As she finishes, she wipes the table clean like she's just had a close encounter with a supernatural mud pie. Turning to the man, she proclaims, Behold, the sacred soil ritual, with a success rate that puts weather forecasts to shame. The man blinks, realizing he's about to receive life-changing news from a glorified mud whisperer. Sir, she said, I have some very bad news for you. I need to know if you are ready for this, as it might be a great shock to you. The guy said to the fortune teller, Absolutely, I need to get this over with, so that I can go on with my life. The fortune teller takes a deep breath before dropping bombshells, like she's playing psychic bingo. Sir, she begins, brace yourself. Your kids, not yours, your daughter, playing house with a married man, and oh, your wife, pregnant by your dearly younger brother. She pauses, then adds, blame it on the soil, not the reader. But I am truly sorry. The gentleman laughed, uncontrollably, to the amazement of the fortune teller. When he finished laughing, the fortune teller asked, 
Now what can be so funny, sir? The man launches into his tale of woe like he's auditioning for a sitcom. You wouldn't believe it, he starts. I had a day straight out of a horror movie. Traffic jams, spilled coffee, the works. And just when I'm at your doorstep, it hits me. The soil sample. So, I pull a MacGyver move and snatch some dirt. From your front yard. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>